As the House of Representatives begins the process of establishing the Sustainable Development Fund and its administrative board, stakeholders have expressed mixed reactions to some aspects of the proposal. The bill was sponsored by Abdul Razak Namdas from Adamawa State with the aim of ensuring effectiveness in the operations and activities of the Sustainable Development Goals, as it is done globally. It was supported by the House leadership, hence this public hearing to aggregate views from stakeholders in order to provide a legislative framework for its takeoff. There must be economic wherewithal, there must be funding, because you do not create goals in isolation. You must back it up with funding to achieve those goals. And this is what this bill is about. The bill is timely, and I hope the stakeholders have carefully looked into it and identified some benefits embedded in it, as it will increase productivity. This bill is a challenge to us to test our commitments to ensuring the achievement of the sustainable development goals in Nigeria. There is no doubt a need to define a structure and a legal framework for its efficiency, effectiveness, accountability and sustainability. Stakeholders keyed into the proposal but made some recommendations. The Federal Minister of Education is of the view that the major and sustained funding of this very important fund crucial impact on the development of all sectors covered by the SDGs to be tied to the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the federal government. The National Population Commission wishes to state as below. The proposal to establish a revenue to drive uh, the raising of sustainable fund for the support of implementation of priority interventions and programs across relevant sectors. The proposed bill, however, suffered a little knock when the senior special advisor picked holes in the establishment of an administrative board. We have the view that instead of a new management board, OSAP SDG, which has overall mandate of coordinating the implementation and reporting of the SDG in Nigeria to the United Nations, should be strengthened to deliver the better on the same mandate by increasing its funding. The board, when finally established, will be charged with the responsibility to impose, operate and maintain the developmental goals in Nigeria. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.